Recording a customer service issue is so easy with Sage CRM. I've opened up my Outlook and I've got this email. If I look at the email, uh-oh, I've got a problem. I'm going to have to record a ticket or a case or whatever your organization happens to call it. I'm going to first click on the lightning bolt. The lightning bolt opens up Sage CRM. You can see that it automatically jumped to this record because it recognized the email. If it didn't, it would prompt you to create a new company, which is easy enough to do. The next step is for us to create a new, we'll call it a case. When I record a case, I will be able to say, well, what's the problem? What type of issue is it? How much of a priority is it? And so forth. Save. Now I have my case, and if I wanted to record those emails against the case, I can. I'm going to say save. If I wanted to change the subject line, I could. You'll notice that I've got my image here, but I also had attachments. So if I wanted to relabel the attachment as a customer service issue, I certainly could save. In Outlook, I'll have a visual cue here that this email has been filed, but underneath the case in Sage CRM, you'll see that I've got the email and I'll also have the document. If I look at this issue inside of Sage CRM, I'll have rules that allow me to push it along in a way that's very consistent with the policies of my organization. So that could be, you know, what stage is this in? Who handled it? When did it come in? How is it resolved? That type of thing. But aside from the cover page, I'll also have any communications, any cut communications or any documents. If I opened up that communication, I could see a picture of the damaged goods that came in. If we wanted to, we could absolutely have an automatic email go out to the client or the person that had submitted the ticket saying, hey, we've recorded your issue. Your reference number is 2-14268, whatever message you want to give them. And if we wanted to link this to a Sage 100 RMA number or an RMA number, we absolutely could. Once we do that, we can see the RMA details right here. So that's how your customer service team could manage customer service issues with Sage CRM.